When Santa Lost His Ho Ho Ho, Good Bedtime Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named When Santa Lost His Ho Ho Ho, Good Bedtime Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Christmas was just a few days away. The North Pole was buzzing with activity. The reindeer were practicing their takeoff, and the elves were putting finishing touches on the toys with lots of help from Mrs. Claus. Santa looked tired. We need a little break, he said. How about a song and dance to get us going? asked Mrs. Claus. Music and laughter rocked the workshop, but something wasn't right. Something was missing. Santa was quiet. What is it, dear? asked Mrs. Claus. Have you lost something, sir? asked an elf. Santa scratched his head. He cleared his throat. You could say that, he said. What is it? asked the elf. We'll help you find it. Everyone waited for Santa's answer. I think I've lost my laugh, he said. Everyone gasped. Oh, no! Santa had lost his ho. Ho! This was serious. How could there be Christmas without Santa's ho? Ho! Ho! Santa tried some home remedies. They didn't work. He went to see Dr. Diggy. The doctor prescribed funny movies and a large dose of jokes. Everyone was eager to help. But the best Santa could manage was a little, ah, a weak yippee, and a faint yee, but no ho, 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 ho. The local paper broke the news. Reporters and photographers gathered outside Santa's workshop. This story was big. All around the world, people heard the news. Back at the North Pole, the elves and Mrs. Klaus kept trying to help Santa ho ho. Nothing worked. The reindeer even offered a surefire remedy, cocoa. Santa enjoyed it, but his laugh was a no-show. Santa decided to check his mail. He always read every single letter himself. But he'd been so busy trying to ho 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 that the mail had really piled up. Mrs. Klaus noticed that Santa looked tired, even a bit cranky. Mr. Klaus, she said, please take a nap. We'll organize your mail. Now scoot. Well, maybe just a few winks, Santa said. Santa settled in for a short winter's nap. Mrs. Klaus and the elves got busy. They opened the mail. They sorted it and put it into neat stock. Look at all these wonderful letters, said Mrs. Klaus. There were all some unusual gifts. Mrs. Klaus held up a drawing from a girl named Holly. Look at this one, she exclaimed. The elves and Mrs. Klaus laughed until they cried. I have an idea, said Mrs. Klaus. Gather the letters and follow me to the workshop. We'll have lots of room up here, Mrs. Klaus told the elves. But hurry, Santa will be awake soon. Santa awoke from his nap, feeling much better. But there was still no sign of his ho, ho, ho. He heard giggles coming from the kitchen. Sounds like everyone's having fun, said Santa. I'll join you after I read some letters. You mail is in the workshop, dear, said Mrs. 
cloth. So you can sit in your favorite chair when you read, said the postmaster elf. Great idea, said Santa. Soon, Santa headed for the workshop. The elves and Mrs. Klaus waited by the kitchen window to watch and to listen. One minute passed, then two. It was so quiet, you could hear a snowflake fall. I don't hear a thing, Mrs. Klaus tossed. It's not working, moaned the postmaster elf. Then there came a faint rumble, a distant chuckle, and finally a mighty, booming, very familiar, and so jolly ho. Ho, 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 ho! Santa's ho, ho was back. The reporters and photographers heard it. Folks in town heard it. Everyone, everywhere around the world heard it, Mrs. Klaus jumped for joy. The elves shouted with glee. The reindeer pranced and danced. Santa thanked everyone for pictures, especially Holly. He promised that would be the merriest, jolliest Christmas ever. And it was the end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.